It's giving very much flashback Mary. Look at this Dubai chocolate. We just got here to a pumpkin pad, take pictures, and look at the pumpkin. Just got out of the pumpkin patch right now. It was so hot. Cute little fun experience. I'm gonna go take my family out to eat. I'm about to head over to Academy right now. May or may not be purchasing my first ever Stanley. I'm pretty sure there is a clip of me somewhere saying that like I don't get the hype about Stanley. You know what? I don't. When like there's overconsumption about it. I honestly just want a staple water bottle. These are all of the Stanleys that they have. They have like a big variety. Tumbler, it's a 30 ounce. I don't know if I want this one or the bigger one. This one's the bigger one, it's the 40 ounce. This one's a little bit bigger than this one. I like it, but it's just so heavy. I just feel like it's very practical, like an everyday use. I also have this one in this light pink color, which I think is honestly really pretty. Both of these are really cute. I'm kind of debating going towards the pink one. I like sound like the most basic girl ever right now. I think I'm gonna do the pink one. I think it looks really cute. I've never seen this flavor of Alani. Lion shaved eyes. I just copped my first ever Stanley. I'm gonna be drinking this baby in every single one of my videos. Going home to deep clean this, and then after, I'm gonna meet up my friend, and we're gonna go on a hot girl walk. I told my brother I was going to a Halloween party, and he actually believed me. I didn't believe it. No, you did believe me. Me and my brother are gonna try Dubai chocolate. I got a Dubai chocolate dealer. Like that's how popular and viral it's honestly got it. Oh my god. Oh. Also, don't mind how I look right now. I look so dumb. Mm -hmm. It's like a Kinder Joy. I rate this an 8.5. Let's do an ice mark. Earlier, I received some PR packages and we're gonna open them up. This package is from Ottimo Beauty. Sent over their Atomic Moisturizer Cream for eyes, face, and neck. That looks so pretty. We got one more package to open. I think I got another moisturizer from the brand Go Pure. That's like so freaking cute. It's a Titan and Lift Neck Cream. This packaging too, it's so gorgeous. I'm trying to figure out which cream that I want to use. The most important thing for me when it comes to skincare is making sure that the products I'm using has little to no smell to it. This has like a subtle fragrance, but it's very much clean. Can we talk about how much a woman's confidence just goes down when she's on her period? Right now, I'm breaking out, going through all of the motions. I've been wearing makeup more often, but I hate that comes with it is breaking out, and my skin is very, very prone to breaking out after wearing a full face of makeup. This moisturizer kind of feels like a sunscreen. Some lash serum. I did these braids. I can't do braids, period. This was day one of the fall vlog, and I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Loki scared to take out these braids and see how they're gonna look. pop off. I feel like the ends look a little bit weird because they're straight. I don't want to know what the back of my head looks like, so I'm fine with just looking at it right here. I want to get out of the house, fun errands, go shopping, which is probably my fave thing to do. I'm only filming one other fall vlog after this one, and that's it for the autumn season of 2024. I'm kind of feeling bittersweet about it. Before we go out shopping, I want to go to a coffee shop, get some work done. I'm going to light one of the candles that I have here. I think I'm going to do this one. It's called Ghostly Glow. I'm also going to be putting one of these little wax melts on top of it. pumpkin is gonna melt on the candle and it's going to smell amazing i love making sure that my room is always smelling good using this thermal spring water from la roche posay super stay 24 hour skin tint i bought it a few days ago and i still have not tried it out i don't know i'm so skeptical really hope that this doesn't break me out because i'm already like not having good skin days i'm gonna just go like that i know you're probably not supposed to honestly i don't know if this is my shade i think this might be a little bit too light for me maybe if i just really blend it in then it won't be look at that oh my god 
what can you even do at this point though like to be honest it's giving very much flashback mirror i'm gonna darken it a little bit hopefully i can like fix this this is supposed to be a skin tint i don't know why i ended up putting on so much makeup okay this is looking a little bit better i feel like it's looking a little bit better i'm not gonna take it off i'm gonna leave this on here so what if i look ridiculous and what about it i think as long as i don't put on concealer we should be good i'm gonna try to fix it with contour because i already wasted so much product one of the best tips that i've been doing with my makeup recently is putting setting spray in between my layers and i know i mentioned it in literally like my last video or something it doesn't melt off or anything after i put on setting spray i let it sit for like a few seconds and then i go back in and then i just continue blending it in i'm so excited for christmas i know this is supposed to be a fall vlog like yes period but like i'm so excited let me know when you guys want me to start like decorating my room filming christmas videos and everything mid november that would be a really good time to start doing that but a part of me is like girl do it right now i at least want it to be close to thanksgiving and then i can start like actually just preparing my room I got my coffee. I was supposed to stay in the coffee shop for a little bit more, but it started getting really packed. So we're gonna go and head over to Target. I feel like I've been getting a lot of coffee in my videos. This is a sugar-free caramel macchiato. I'm gonna go to the freezer aisle and see if they have any Halloween cookies, like the Fillsbury one, because I wanna make my last batch of cookies before the season is over, like basically, so hopefully they have some. Here's a little sneak peek at all of the Christmas stuff. I already know they're gonna sell out so fast. I don't think they have any of the Fillsbury cookie dough, the one that are like in the ghost shape or the pumpkin shape. It's okay, I have cookie dough at the house already, but I wanted to make those one last time. I think they're already like out of season. They also have like cinnamon rolls and I can make that, but I feel like I make that too often. Last pumpkin spice flavored things over here. Like look at the pumpkin cookie dough, pumpkin pie spice, cold foam. This actually looks really good. I think I want to make mac and cheese later, so I don't know if I should get this one. It's the Shells and Real Age Cheddar or this brand. I've never tried it. Got my cat some food. Honestly, I don't really need anything else from Target. I mainly came here for that and for the cookies, but obviously they don't have any. to get into the habit of reading more books picking up a motivational book this one has been on my to be read list portable mirror it is so freaking cute low-key needing a new mirror like this for my vanity cozy soft foot care kit i think it's like a foot mask They low-key did a whole like revamp here all the stuff i think they like reorganized it tell me why i want this little gingerbread spa headband so bad they also have a little hello kitty holiday one pause because i feel like i need to buy this it's a heatless curl but it's like of the grinch and i feel like this is perfect for vlogmas i do want to get like a heatless curl type of thing i want to do more cooking and just baking around the house i think i'm gonna buy myself a pot so i can cook like soups stews and everything like that i'm debating on getting like this one right here i feel like that's a little bit too big or i found this brown one that i really like and it has like a white interior I feel like this would be good. I finally was able to find a bronzer. This is like the only decent looking one that I found and it was only four bucks. I feel like it's gonna be really good. I love getting blushes, bronzer, and highlighters from TJ Maxx because they're just so affordable and they're probably brands that you've never heard of. They work the same as high quality products. This one has four different shades. I picked up the heatless curls. I just wanted these because I don't wanna be doing braids in my hair every night. And these give you like a different curl pattern than the ones that I have. They already fell out, but still. I cannot believe that I bought a little pot, but I'm so glad 
thought that I did. It looks really cute. I love kitchen appliances. Like, I love spoons, measuring cups. I feel like whenever I have my own house or apartment, I'm gonna go crazy on all of the kitchen appliances. Other ones that we have at the house, they're already, like, rusty old. That is all of the shopping for me today. I don't need to do any more damage on my car. I'm gonna head home already, and we're gonna make the mac and cheese. looks so good put like a bunch of parmesan cheese mm, something about pasta just reminds me of like the holidays it feels like a comfort meal the movie that i'm gonna watch is the tear smith when i first watched this movie i fell in love and this was when i was learning italian um on duolingo i deleted duolingo but i really want to learn italian like i want to be fluent i watched this movie in italian and it was just amazing if you guys have not watched this movie it is the perfect romantic love story kind of it's kind of like twisted in a way i've watched it like over five times already finished up my food finished up the movie it was so good and it was honestly such a vibe now i'm going to begin baking cookies i've baked it before on my channel i swear these cookies are so good perfect amount of crunchiness and softness and it's like a pumpkin pie cookie white chocolate chip i honestly prefer it over milk chocolate just got done baking they're currently cooling down on top of the stove i want to know what you guys are going to be for halloween or like if you are going to celebrate it i'm not being anything this year i'm not even going to go trick-or-treating i'll basically explain more of that in my next vlog should be very very soon do you just want to mention today is currently monday october 28th i'm filming editing and posting this video the same day if that doesn't say dedication i don't know what does so if you've watched it this far into the video and you're not subscribed already what are you doing go ahead subscribe right now i've never been a really big celebrator of halloween like i love dressing up and everything but i just feel like there's nothing to do i know there's a bunch of parties going on trunk or tree and everything like that but me and my boyfriend have some things planned so stay tuned for that i think i'm gonna go ahead and end it off here i know my videos have been super short recently and i'm so sorry but i'm really just trying to get out as much halloween content as i can before this month is over thank you guys so much for watching this video if you made it to the end comment down below the pumpkin emoji don't forget to like subscribe comment i love you guys so much god loves you and don't forget to always love yourself and stay positive bye